Okay, so this is to document for our future selves why we're doing what we're doing um, and then the journey that we're about ready to go on. So I think we're both pretty excited about it. So this is the house that we lived in for almost 16 years. We're getting ready to leave it. We're all moved out. Well, the person that bought our house also bought a lot of our furniture, so moved out's relative. But there's definitely the least amount of stuff in it that's been in it in a long time. I think at some point or another, every square surface of this house has been modified. I knew it has. Painted, touched, <laughs> scrubbed, something. Lots of, lots of construction. But the last six months have been kind of crazy. Uh, lots of changes. Um, we have sold our house and everything that we own. Good morning. Uh, it is January 7th, Saturday, uh, 2023. Hi. And bought a travel trailer and we are leaving the state of Kentucky. Why are we doing this? Um, well, we had always talked about um, wanting to explore and wanting to travel. I think we were sitting in Montana <laughs> and um, it was so beautiful and we just didn't really want to come home. Video? Yeah. This right. is the video. Hi. Here we go. What mattered was being there with Drew and Ella and being present. Like it was the most alive and present I had felt in so long. Six months ago, we left the life we had built together in central Kentucky. Most, if not all of our family and friends thought we were crazy and still do, but we found the need to explore and break up the day-to-day -day that had become our lives. We live for the weekends and the time we had off from work for vacations, but our lives are so much more than just work. So two relatively risk averse people sold everything, including the house we had called home for almost 16 years to live a little bit. It is difficult to believe that we just celebrated six months on the road. Time is persistently ticking away. Our days are now filled with the simple logistics, a place to park, things to explore, water, and resupplies. Drew and I joke we set out on this journey doing almost everything others warned against. We didn't have experience with camper trailers. Our first night in one was the night we took possession of ours. We're so new to this way of life, but yet we did have experience in backpacking, so we felt like this new take on camping we could handle. Still, something we are so thankful for, our premarital counselors suggested we find something that we enjoyed and could do together. I'm sure James wasn't thinking long distance backpacking was what we would arrive at, but in those hundreds, now thousands of miles we covered on foot, sharing so many highs and lows, and a tiny backpacking tent forged a strong relationship between us that has provided us the tools necessary to tackle all the crazy that life has and will keep throwing at us. So while we were scared when we left Kentucky, we were also so very excited. Life is so short, and as we grow older, the days move more quickly. We knew we wanted to fill the time we had together to the brim with memories. And oh boy, has the past six months been filled with memories. Many happy, a few sad, and a few in frustration. Nothing in life is ever perfect. Take, for example, the best campsite you can think of. There's always a drawback. Often it might be mosquitoes, such as the case at the, in the Bridger Tetons. The downside does not negate the amazing experience. It just makes you appreciate it more. So I guess the big question, has the risk been worth it? 
Absolutely. Sleep comes easier. We are quicker to laugh and smile, and our time has been spent together in the moment. While we still don't know where this folly is going to take us, we are excited for the journey and so thankful we took the leap. We just made it to camp for the night. This is Big Park in the Bridger Teton National Forest. It's a place that we scoped out last year, but we were nervous all day that there would be somebody else here because uh, there's not a whole lot of spots here, even though it is wide open. Uh, most of you are not allowed to drive. Just live a little bit because tomorrow is not promised. So, absolutely.